Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from beautiful Beaufort and Low Country Produce. I'm joined this afternoon by the Executive Director of Hope Haven of the Low Country, Sean Chinchaps. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. We're so glad to have you here to talk about the work that you do um, at Hope Haven. And I know there's probably some viewers out there who mm -hmm. are unfamiliar um, with Hope Haven and what your mission is. So mm -hmm. before we get started, can you give um, the viewers out there some information about what Hope Haven is and, and the community in which you serve? Sure, I'll be happy to. Hope Haven is our local children's advocacy and rape crisis center. Our mission is to provide uh, professional, comprehensive services uh, that lead to healing for child abuse victims and also adult victims of sexual violence. And we also work uh, very hard to increase awareness of these issues through prevention, education, and outreach. You know, it's, um, we were talking before we started this interview just about um, how it's sad that we mm -hmm. have to have services um, such as the ones that Hope Haven provides um, because we have these um, incidences of, of child and, and adult um, sexual mm -hmm. and violence. Mm -hmm. um, we know that you cover four or five different counties here in South Carolina. Five counties, yes. We serve five counties, which is Beaufort, Jasper, Hampton, Colleton, and all the way to Allendale. Right, so you have a big mission without do. a doubt um, and that you know one of the things we need to talk about um, unfortunately is to share the magnitude of mm -hmm. sexual abuse and um, and child abuse here in the low country can you share um, some of the statistics around um, sure. those incidences I'll be happy to um, I think it's important for viewers to know that there's no community that's immune to the problem of child abuse and sexual violence the reality is that it happens in every community regardless of um, uh, where we are geographically located. Uh, this is uh, a, a problem that's uh, pr pretty pervasive really throughout uh, the, the country. country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do know that in South Carolina in 2014, there was over 16,000 substantiated cases of child abuse and neglect. Mm. And, um, and we also know that it costs our state uh, average of a billion dollars uh, in ex expenses, direct expense and indirect expense mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the, um, child abuse, handling cases, treatment of cases. It is a costly problem mm -hmm. and, um, and one that we often don't talk about, but the reality is that um, we, need we, to. we need to. <laughs> And we obviously at Hope Haven see these children and these adults on a, on a daily basis. So let's bring it a little bit closer to home in mm -hmm. terms of locally. Um, uh, in 2015, Hope Haven served uh, 700, 718 individual clients on duplicate account. And 588 of those are direct victims of child abuse and sexual violence. And majority of those, about 75 to 78 percent, are children under 16 years old. About 52 percent are children 11 and under. And the median age we serve is about seven years old. Heartbreaking so statistics. It is. And in addition to that, I think it's really important to know that with every victim, uh, there is um, family members and siblings that are also impacted, impacted by the effect, crime. Right. So it's not just a crime that impacts that right. the victim, the direct victim. It's not a singular, not someone living in a silo that's impacted exactly. by this, but the entire group. Family, so um, you know, spouses, uh, loved ones are also just as impacted. So in 2015, last year, we served um, about 1,400 what we call indirect victims mm -hmm. who are just as much impacted by the trauma that has happened as a result of these abusive situations. God, it, it's such that I'm glad that you're here talking about this so we can get this information out. I know one of the things that you wanted to share was to talking about your multidisciplinary team mm -hmm. or your MDT. Or mm -hmm. the, a, this is your group of people, whether they're yeah. paid employees or volunteers right. that, that help these um, victims and provide um, support and, and advocacy for them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so the multidisciplinary team, what we call MDT for short, just because it's easier <laughs> to say that. And we live in it's a world mouthful. of acronyms. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, uh, the MDT is actually, um, it's, a, it's a model, it's a best practice model that basically uh, looks at uh, the importance of all these different agencies that handle child abuse cases, such as law enforcement, mm -hmm. um, Department of Social Services, DSS, and the solicitor's office. Uh, and all other organizations that touch child abuse cases. So essentially what we know in terms of best practice in handling child abuse cases is that the more coordination there can be between all these agencies, mm -hmm. the better the case outcome. So it's not rocket science really, um, but one of the things 
the heartbeat of what we do at Hope Haven is this uh, whole MDT approach. And we actually have bi-monthly um, MDT meetings, uh, case staffings with all the agencies involved. And we staff every single case that's been uh, referred to us, every single child abuse case that's been referred to us, uh, to make sure that the left hand knows what the right mm -hmm. hand's doing and that pertinent information about these cases are actually shared mm -hmm. so that everyone can benefit those that are involved, the entities that are involved and charged with investigation, protection, prosecution and treatment of these children and families actually have those information, those pertinent information to be able to do their job well and, and the outcomes will be a lot better when all entities are actually around the table communicating and sharing information. Yeah, because you notice that one piece of vital information that's if it's right. not shared can really make or break somebody. And we're talking about somebody's life here. Absolutely. And collaboration is just is key. Key and to it, success. <laughs> key to success. And there's not one single entity and agency that can meet all the needs right. of a family and of a, of a victim. So it really requires um, the cooperation and collaboration of all these entities. So really that's what the MDT team is about um, and it's something that really works and it's a national model and it's proven to work in, in those communities that have children advocacy centers like Hope Haven. Wonderful. We know that um, you also need the community to come out and to support you and we know you have an event coming up. Yeah, we um, do. Lilies on the River, mm -hmm. um, April the 29th mm -hmm. and um, want you to be able to share some details about that sure. event and, and how the community can come out and support you and in turn support the victims that you service. Absolutely. Lilies on the River is uh, Hope Haven's signature fundraiser. It's an annual fundraiser and I believe this is our 12th year. Well, congratulations. Um, <laughs> and. Um, what it is, it's an opportunity for the community to honor the most important women in their lives. And what, uh, what we are asking um, the community to do is to purchase lilies in honor, of, uh, in honor or in memory of the women in their lives that have made a positive impact. And on Mother's Day, the names of all those women um, that lilies have been purchased for will actually be printed on a full page ad in the Allen Packet and Beaufort Gazette on Mother's Day. So it's a really wonderful way to honor um, women in your lives that are important and really makes a great Mother's Day gift too because we all know that we don't need any more items, things, right. things. <laughs> but this is a real nice uh, way to honor someone, to remember someone. And, and then at the same time be able to give back to, your um, yeah. to, to, to the, the community. Group, to and to Hope Haven and, and help you. Um, because we know that it takes, it takes partnerships. Mm -hmm. um, we have a limited amount of time left, but tell us a little bit about the partnerships that you have here in the community and those people that, that work with you tirelessly to support um, what you do at Hope Haven. Yeah, so we have plenty of partnerships, like I mentioned, all the law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. solicitor's office, DSS, but we also work with all other organizations that work with children, such as the Domestic Violence Shelter, CODA, uh, the Children's uh, Emergency Shelter, which is CAPA. Uh, we work very closely with the Beaufort County School Districts and all the other school districts uh, of the counties that we work with. Um, so we have many, many partners in the community to help us fulfill our mission. I so appreciate you coming and talking with us this afternoon about this really sensitive but um, much needed topic that needs Most to create some awareness out there in our community. Um, we wish you the best of luck with spreading the word about April um, the 29th and your event, Lilies on the River. Mm -hmm. um, we'd love to have you come back again and talk, us, talk to us again about um, how your progress is doing here in the community. So thank you so much for your time this Thank afternoon. you for having me. Thanks Absolutely. so much. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.